The largest voting group in America today is women, 53% of the electorate. But in fact, African Americans were able to vote long before the right was extended to women. Women were a prime factor in the anti-slavery and abolitionist movements. Many active in this cause took what they learned in the anti-slavery movement and applied the same techniques to women's suffrage. Progressive Republican women were at the forefront of the movement, and one of them, Jeanette Rankin, became the first woman in Congress in 1916. Jeanette Rankin is the, the first female elected to the United States House of Representatives in 1916, and she is elected from the state of Montana, which, in a statewide basis, has enfranchised women. Many of the women who are doing this are GOP women. If they're being anti-slavery, they're going to be sympathetic to the GOP rather than the Democratic Party. And when you finally get a woman in Congress in 1916 who's a Republican, very progressive woman, and I think it's ironic because women nationally still can't vote at that period. Jeanette Rankin would be followed by others, including Republicans Margaret Chase Smith of Maine and Frances Payne Bolton of Ohio, both of whom served as aspirational symbols and effective legislators. I am Congressman Frances P. Bolton, again a candidate for re-election. Do you intend to vote on Tuesday? Your country and your president need your support. Let's all get out and vote on Tuesday. Bolton, who was from a prominent Cleveland family and one of the richest women in America, dedicated her life to public service. She believed, along with many in her party, that with privilege comes responsibility. She served in the U.S. Congress for 29 years. She was a major player in the Eisenhower administrations and committed to a variety of progressive causes, including nursing, racial equality, and in the years after World War II, the creation of strong diplomatic and economic relations with post-colonial African states. She was a pioneer as a woman in the legislative process. And because of her prestige in foreign affairs, she was looked upon uh, by both Democrats and Republicans as a very important person in the discussion or the debate on foreign policy. The opinion in the Capitol is paying tribute to one of the most remarkable figures in American politics and to one of our country's truly great ladies, Representative Frances Bolton, Republican of Ohio, who this week marks her 25th year in the United States House of Representatives. Senator Margaret J. Smith, who served with Mrs. Bolton in the House of Representatives, is our special guest to pay tribute to her longtime friend and colleague. Frances Bolton uh, did a life work before she went into Congress. She brought up a family, she had her homes, and she did so much. And then at 55 years old, to go into Congress and run the elections, the campaigns that she has out She's had some tough ones too, haven't you? Oh, she yes. certainly has. One of the great moments for women everywhere, in, in my estimation, was when a lady from Ohio stood on before a great convention and nominated her friend Seconded. from Maine. Seconded. Seconded. Seconded her nomination of a lady from Maine. Well, I tell you, Mark, that was the high point of my life. First woman ever to be nominated for the president. Yes, and to have the, the privilege of seconding Margaret's nomination for the presidency. I tell you, it was the highlight of my life. Down on the floor, they are demonstrating for Senator Margaret Chase Smith of Maine. Congresswoman Frances Bolton of Ohio is seconding Senator Margaret Chase Smith now. Now the moment is here when a woman of very high order is presenting herself for the most important office in the land. Only the candidacy for the presidency, the top position in the hands of the people, could demonstrate to the world that not until women carry their share of the responsibility will there be peace and goodwill on the earth. I was Congresswoman Frances Bolton of Ohio, seconding Senator Margaret Chase Smith for the presidential nomination.